Professor John Mew, you have some fascinating insights into the malocclusion of twins and why their teeth differentiate. What's, what are your theories around genetics on this matter? Well, way back in 1963, I think it was, I looked at the research of Horowitz. He did a big study on twins, really to see which parts of the body varied most. And that paper has sort of remained with me in my mind ever since, because it was very significant in that he found that the shape of the jaws and the teeth varied hugely between identical twins, but, but hardly any other part of the body varied. Naturally, this made me realize that it was something to do with their genes. And I formed a theory which I published back in, I think, 1981, which basically said that the jaws and the teeth are not controlled closely by the genes, but are relatively free to change so that the teeth can meet just by bringing your teeth together. In other words, the posture of your jaws and the position of your teeth will control the growth. I liken this to an alligator. It is essential that the front teeth of an alligator meet exactly. But, as you know, they are separated by about two metres of tissue, you know, jaw and bones and gum, and clearly the genetic control of growth is not precise enough to ensure that all the teeth meet perfectly. Now, it is essential that a crocodile is able to grab onto veins and his front teeth must meet perfectly. In a similar way, it is essential for our own survival that our teeth meet well, or it was essential, should I say, in the days 20,000 years ago. Um, now, we eat soft, soft, soft food, it doesn't really matter. But then, it was absolutely essential that every tooth meshed perfectly with every other tooth. And to achieve that, the jaws, as I said earlier, were left less precisely controlled by the genes, but able to change their growth direction to the posture that was adopted by the animal or the human in our case, so that our jaws grow to the correct position. But it was Horowitz's research with the twins that made me realize it is just the jaws of the humans that have that ability, no other part. That's really fascinating. Well, you think that made sense? Yes, it made sense. Of course it made sense. That's perfect. Right.